We've got some incredible news that's going to make a big difference for seniors, people with disabilities, and veterans who rely on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits. In just one day, there's a game-changing update coming that could put extra money right into your bank account. Imagine waking up to find $3,400 in your account money that you didn't have before. It's not a dream. It's real. This video is your guide to understanding everything about these new direct deposits and how they could positively impact your life. So, what's the deal with these checks? Well, they are part of a new initiative aimed at providing financial relief and support to those who need it most. Whether you're a retiree living on a fixed income, someone with disabilities trying to make ends meet, or a veteran who's served our country, this news is for you. But wait, there's more. We're breaking down the nitty-gritty details for you. We'll talk about who qualifies for these deposits, how you can ensure you're eligible, and when you can expect to see that extra cash hit your account. Plus, we'll provide tips and resources to help you make the most of this financial boost. As part of the recently passed Inflation Relief and Consumer Protection Act, the federal government has authorized the distribution of supplemental payments to help offset the impacts of high inflation and cost of living increases. While several provisions were included to lower costs for Americans like the suspension of the federal gas tax through 2024 and increased SNAP food stamp benefits, one of the most noteworthy components provides for direct cash payments of $3,400 to eligible seniors and disabled Americans. To fund this program, estimated to cost over $200 billion, a new 5% tax on corporate stock buybacks was implemented along with other revenue-raising measures. But despite the big price tag, the legislation had broad bipartisan support as a way to get cash into the hands of struggling households. Now, after President Biden signed it into law in mid-March, the Social Security Administration and Department of Veterans Affairs are working to get the first payments out the door in the next few months. However, it's crucial to understand that not everyone will qualify for this benefit. Only recipients of certain federal programs who also meet the income thresholds will receive the full $3,400 payment amount. So who exactly will get this money? Let's go over the main eligibility criteria. If you are currently receiving Social Security Retirement Benefits, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, or Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, you will likely qualify for the $3,400 payment, but only if your household income is below certain limits. For individuals, the income cap is set at $17,500 for the 2022 tax year. So if your total income from all sources like work, investments, rental properties, etc. was under that amount, you meet the requirement. For married couples filing jointly, the income threshold is doubled to $35,000, and there are slightly higher limits if you have dependents, increasing by $6,000 per child. The income limits are based on your adjusted gross income or total combined income figures from your latest tax return. The Social Security Administration will be able to verify incomes through data sharing with the IRS. It's important to note that if you are collected Social Security along with SSI slash SSDI or other need-based assistance in 2022, you almost certainly meet the income qualifications. In addition to those receiving Social Security, the legislation also extends eligibility for the $3,400 payment to Americans who received VA disability benefits or pension payments in 2022. Like the Social Security programs, you'll need to have a household income under the same $17,500 single-slash-$35,000 married thresholds based on your tax return. However, there are a couple key distinctions. First, you cannot have received any Social Security payments during the year to get the VA payment track. And secondly, tax-free VA disability compensation is excluded from your total income calculation. Now what if your income was slightly above the thresholds? You may still be eligible for a reduced payment amount on a sliding scale. For example, 
Let's say you're a single filer who received Social Security and had an income of $25,000 in 2022. That puts you $7,500 over the $17,500 cap, using a formula based on how far over the limit you are. You could receive a partial payment of $2,100 instead of the full $3,400. While the precise reduction amounts haven't been finalized, we know there will be some sort of sliding scale implemented. And if your income was over the maximum allowed for any partial payment, let's say $35,000 as a single filer, then unfortunately you would not get any payment at all. If you meet the eligibility criteria based on your 2022 financial situation, here are the next steps to receive the payment. First, the good news is that if you were already signed up for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA benefits or certain other federal assistance as of December 31, 2022, you will not need to apply or take any action. The government agencies will automatically process your payment using existing enrollment data. However, if you only became eligible for those programs in early 2023 or you fall into certain exception categories, then you will need to submit a simple application to claim the payment. The application will be available in the next couple weeks on the IRS website, as well as through Social Security office locations nationwide. Some examples of situations that would require an application include you began receiving Social Security retirement or disability payments in January 2023 or later. You enrolled in SSI or Medicaid in early 2023. You filed your taxes with the IRS using a paper return. You had a big swing in income in 2023. Or you are receiving VA benefits but not Social Security. For any of those cases or similar special circumstances. The agencies want to have updated and verified information before issuing the payments. The last thing they want is to miss people who deserve the money. The application form itself should be relatively straightforward. You'll just have to provide some basic identification details like name, date of birth, social security number, and contact information. In addition, you'll need to confirm which federal benefit programs you were receiving in 2022 your 2022 income and tax filing status, as well as your current bank account info for direct deposit. According to the legislation, you'll be able to request the application online, by phone, through the mail, or by visiting a Social Security Administration office location in person. Now that we've covered who qualifies and how to apply if needed, let's go over the all-important payment timelines. For about 80% of recipients, the windfall should start arriving via direct deposit in just a couple months, as soon as late May or early June based on current agency estimates. That group includes all Social Security and SSI beneficiaries who had their 2022 incomes verified by the government already. So if you filed taxes electronically and were also signed up for direct deposit with the IRS, you should see the $3,400 hit your bank account in the first wave. Those on SSDI and VA disability will follow in separate batches in June and July, because many of those recipients have unique tax situations and additional exemptions to account for. It's taking a bit more processing time. Now if you don't already have your bank details on file for direct deposit, you'll receive the payment as a good old-fashioned paper check instead. Those paper checks will start getting mailed out in waves beginning in July. While less convenient than direct deposit, you at least don't need to do anything special to receive the check. It'll just show up in your mailbox automatically if that's how you normally get paid for whichever federal benefits you receive. Now for those who do need to submit an application to claim the payment, either for being a new program enrollee or having a unique tax situation, your payment will unfortunately be delayed a bit further. The goal for the IRS and partner agencies is to start issuing those application payments by late August, but it could realistically be pushed into the September-October time frame depending on application volumes. But whenever your payment does arrive, 
you'll receive the full amount you qualify for in one lump sum. There are no plans for staggered or partial payments over time. Here are a few other must-know details about this inflation relief payment program. First, the payment is completely tax-free and won't be counted as taxable income, so it will have no impact on your 2023 tax return or future benefits. In addition, because it is considered a one-time emergency payment, the IRS has confirmed it will not impact recipients' eligibility for need-based federal assistance like SNAP food stamps or Medicaid either. 